Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 11th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that it's going to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also their live action and animated TV shows on Disney Plus, and let's not forget about the new Star Wars trilogy of films, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy. Pretty exciting. So everything related to Disney right now, both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek, they really are in a phase of desperation to really get the ball rolling again with Star Wars. This is something, believe it or not, what Kathleen Kennedy did for many years on end and continues to do with the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series. Thankfully, that's the only project that she will be working on that has full creative control over it. Now, looking beyond Episode 9 and beyond The Mandalorian Season 2, by the way, Season 2 is going to be the very beginning of this new universe. And what I mean by the new universe means the starting point of when Disney and Lucasfilm are going to be treating Star Wars with more respect for the fans and will be bringing in a brighter and better you know, vision for the future, of course, and how the fans are going to react to it. Now, with that being said and done, the thing about Disney is that when we look at everything related to Disney, Disney Plus and the new trilogy of films, we only think of one person so far, right? And that is, of course, George Lucas. But the other two, John Favreau and Dave Filoni, are going to also be working with George on many different projects. Now, on top of all of this, with the Rise of Skywalker now out of theaters, marks the end of the Skywalker saga. However, both Disney and Lucasfilm have been developing a brand new universe that will not only introduce new Skywalkers, but also brand new Skywalkers in the mix in different types of eras. It's explained that the George Lucas, Dave Filoni, and John Favreau trio are all working together in order to reunite the fans and make Star Wars stronger than ever before. It's explained that John Favreau has a big plan in the works over at Lucasfilm in order to reverse the divide between fans for the series of projects in the works. It's noted that creator John Favreau is set to bring in many of the popular Star Wars Legends characters into the new EU, whether it be live action or in the forms of books and comics and even the animated shows to come on Disney+. Favreau is set to bring in a return of characters like Darth Revan, Starkiller, Sabine, and even Ahsoka Tano, and others all in the form of live action action. Not just that, but also Favreau is described to also be bringing in new stories of Anakin Skywalker for the new Star Wars universe, and that Favreau is described to be working with Filoni on a creative level to bring back actor Hayden Christensen to portray the role of Anakin Skywalker in live-action form. Now, it's explained that also Favreau will be implementing many retcons for The Last Jedi, and that he and George Lucas are developing a plan to bring in a brand new cut of The Last Jedi on Disney Plus sometime in 2023. Favreau is said to be heavily involved with all of this for the new Star Wars universe for the fans to enjoy, where The Mandalorian Season 3 by Favreau is said to bring in a return of Luke Skywalker in live action form as well, in order to re-explore the Skywalker saga in the form of television, much like how popular characters will be making their appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2. For Season 3, however, Favreau plans to introduce a younger version of Luke that takes place after Return of the Jedi that will show the fans Luke Skywalker in action during his younger years in a post-Return of the Jedi era that will be the highlight of The Mandalorian Season 3 in 2022. Also, Favreau is bringing Boba Fett back to life, adding another character to the list who was thought to be dead that comes back to life and well in the new EU for Season 2. Favreau wants to make sure that the fans will enjoy the future of Star Wars without Kathleen Kennedy and her creative input, which thankfully she no longer has that ability and only has the ability to control the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series and such for Star Wars. This is described to be Disney's form of damage control for the franchise. So, like I've said before in the past, I mean, when we look at everything what Disney has done, right? I will admit, The Force Awakens was a good starting point. I know a lot of you guys out there will disagree that the movie was, you know, kind of entertaining. Some people out there think it's a horrible film. I think it was entertaining at the time because it really opened the door of different possibilities of what Episode 8 and 9 could have been, right? So, 
looking back at it like that, I could definitely say that at the time, The Force Awakens was more respectful. Looking at the entirety of the sequel trilogy now, though, we can see the trend between J.J., Ryan, and J.J.'s return once more. So, this new EU, I'm very excited for Favreau essentially really saving the franchise, bringing all these Legends characters back, and also bringing some of the fan-favorite characters in the form of live action. His main goal here is to really boost the familiarity of Ahsoka Tano, Sabine, and Captain Rex, all these other characters, for, of course, the Mandalorian TV series and other TV shows out there that he's going to be working on as well that takes place in different timelines. So, with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.